Hi guys, it's Sam here from Growth and welcome to this episode. Here on this channel, we promise to bring you the best quality content when it comes to growing your home improvements, trade or construction business. So whether you're listening to this on iTunes or Spotify, or you're watching this on YouTube, uh, please hit that subscribe button. And if you are watching this, go ahead and hit that like button as well, as it helps us grow this channel. Enjoy the episode and we look forward to seeing you in more coming episodes as we release more content every single week. Uh, okay, I think we're live. I'm just going to double check in the group because um, sometimes it doesn't work. So I'll just double check that we are actually live. It's always an awkward first five seconds while I'm checking because um, I don't want to get started. Um, yeah, no, we are live. Perfect. Um, cool. So um, anyone who's watching us live or those who are watching the replay later, um, this is uh, Paul Broom. So I'll let Paul Broom introduce himself. Um, Paul, do you want to just let people know who you are, what you do and, and, and yeah, whereabouts are you based as well? Okay, yeah. Name's Paul Broom. I've um, got a company called comfyroof.co.uk. We do conservatory roof conversions. Um, I've been in direct sales one way or another for about 30 odd years. Um, so my, my sales, um, the, the, the way that I sell has been layered up over a number of years. Uh, so there's no magic button or solution that I can give you today and just go, you know what, press that button and, and all, the, all of a sudden your pipeline will start. Um, flowing cash into your bank account. Um, the reality mm. is that's probably not going to work, but I can give you some really good tips to get you going, get you on the right road, hopefully, so that um, should you um, struggle to get those deals closed, at least you can head in the right direction and ask the right questions. Yeah, and for all those who um, are wondering, um, you know, why Paul's on here, um, we started working with Paul, I don't know, a month ago maybe, and um, and it's straight away, as soon as the leads started coming, he started closing them literally in days and making um some good money so that's why you know i thought he's i spoke to him about some some what he was doing and his advice was sound um so i thought let's jump on a live um i think a lot of the people in this group are uh builders uh home improvements owners a lot of them are still on the tools um probably looking for ways they can improve their sales ability you know close more of their quotes and maybe stand out from you know other people they're maybe competing with in, in the space so um let's just start off with the first question would be um i'm just going to ask you the, um you know if you are a business owner um someone inquires to your website um wants a new or is interested in a new conservatory roof quote from yourself what's the next steps what do you do right so i always just pick up the phones and always hit that lead as quickly as possible so yeah. most important whilst their aspiration level is at the highest don't let that lead go cold. Don't sit on it. Get it as quickly as you can. So as soon as it drops into your account, you get onto that lead. If it's one minute past nine in the morning, I don't consider calling much before nine. I don't. I think from nine till eight in the evening is fair enough. I yeah. tend. To, I tend to look at the. I tend to look at the daylight outside. Yeah. If it's daylight at ten o'clock at night, I sort of tend to think that's fair play still because it's still, it's still light yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's when they've got time on their hands right yeah if a customer says to me yeah oh, you're calling me late i'll say oh do you know what i've, I've got so engrossed in what i'm doing i didn't realize the time yeah. i apologize shall we make yeah, it yeah, yeah yeah can i call you back at a different time or should we have a conversation they generally say yeah do you know what that's fine let's let's have a chat yeah so, and they take on the sofa they've got time to talk they're not in the, the hustle and bustle of their daytime and stuff like that so that makes complete and, sense yeah, exactly. And the first thing that I do is blame them for the call. So I use okay. now. You, you might you might be wondering why why I do that, but it's quite important. When they make the inquiry, they're sat in the evening or morning or wherever they are in their office, whatever they're doing, they're doing it. They're making that inquiry at their convenience. Yeah, they don't expect me to call them back at any particular time because that's not been arranged. So I'm just calling them and hoping that we can that we can get onto a conversation. Yeah. So I blame them for the call and that e that sets them back, it eases them back into their chair. So I always say something like, I'm just calling you back in relation to the inquiry that you made. By yeah. doing that, you're putting the onus on them rather than rather than it being about me. This call's not about me. This call is all about you. OK, you yeah. made an inquiry. I'm trying to help you. So this calls about you. So yeah. if you can get used to saying just that really simple line, I'm just calling you back about the inquiry you made with us online. Yeah. What would and the that, opposite of that be? Well, the opposite of that would be, hi, my name's Paul. Um, I'm calling you about the inquiry. Uh, or if, if you don't use the word calling you back, 
Yeah. You say I'm calling you about the inquiry. It's like they requested it. It's just that one word back. Yeah. It means that you're turning the onus from being, look, I want to, of course you do. You're the, you're, yeah. you're, you're, you're the business. You want to make that call. You want to talk to that client. But that client may not necessarily be receptive at that time. So in order to help them to become receptive, we blame them psychologically by just using that word, one word, back. It's, it's a really yeah. simple thing, but it just helps to settle them back. So in other words, ah, they're calling me back rather yeah. than they're calling me. Calling me could be like um, a cold call or, or a warm call that they've been, you know, from years ago, um, yeah. whereby calling you back is something that they've asked you to do or they've implied that you'd like them to do yeah okay and then what's the next step from there uh next step from there is do you know what i just ask a question i just yeah. open the whole conversation with a question right tell me how i can help you and i just shut yeah. up i don't yeah. say anything else and then i've just got a biro in my hand and i'm rigidly taking notes and I'm just... Because then when you go to that quote, you can then say to them, hey, you know, let's talk about that problem you had. And you've got it written down. You remember it so you can open them up in more detail. Exactly. Get them talking about it. Exactly. If I don't know their problem, I can't solve it. Yeah. So I don't. I, do you know what? I take sales calls from people. Obviously, you do as well, uh, Sam. And so do yeah. all of our listeners here today. They all take sales calls. Next time you take a sales call, just sit back and wait till they ask you a question. I waited the other day, three and a half minutes into a sales call where someone was just blah, 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 trying to sell, 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 sell. Take a breath, ask a question. Yeah. Okay. Um. So I always say, there's a really important line that I use, sell more by saying less. Yeah. So just ask a question. So what's, and I always, the best, the best question that I always find is what's your problem with your conservatory roof or what's your problem with your windows or whatever whatever market you're in for example it could be a driveway yeah. okay talk to me about the problem with your driveway yeah and, and i use something called ted um, okay this is, worth, this is worth writing down if anyone if anyone um has got a pen and paper tan it's t-e-d so first one is tell me so i say so tell me about your your problem so they'll talk to you about the weeds growing through the driveway and the fact that they hate it and it's all up and down and they're tripping over it or whatever. Okay. Yeah. Great. So now you've got a reason. You've got a reason. They've got a reason to buy. Don't forget, you're at the end of this, you're going to be asking them for a big sum of money. Yeah. So if they haven't got a reason to buy, why would they why would they spend that money? You need to you need them almost to hate the product. That, yeah. That, sorry, to, to hate the existing issue. Yeah. So if they don't give you enough, get search for some more. So if they if you say to them, for example, um, what's the problem with the driveway? Oh, there's no real problem with it. I just want to change it. OK, so t tell me, why would you want to change it if there's not a problem? Dig back in. And then yeah. Like, I mean, does it suffer? And then maybe you want to put a couple of suggestions in. Does it suffer with weeds? Is it is it, you know, is it up and down a bit or is it, you know, are you tripping over? Yeah. And they'll, we'll they'll get to it in a minute. You can then start to open them up. The, the yeah, the other day you were telling me about it in the conservatories, and you walk in and you say, "Oh, and what's it like when it's raining?" And you're saying, "Oh, they go, oh, when it's raining, we have to go inside. We can't hear anything." And uh, what about when it's hot? And they're going, "Oh, when it's hot, we can't do this." You're triggering. You're creating tr triggering questions, aren't you? Absolutely, all the time. It's all about making sure that you build up that those layers, and don't just accept the first answer. So if they say to you, for example, "Oh," I'm not happy because there's weeds in the drive. So yeah. yeah, yeah. And what else? What other problems? Yeah. And then they, they, they may not initially think of anything. So you can actually help them. You can say, at the moment, is your drive nice and level? They'll go, oh, mm -hmm. no, it's all up and down. And I'm tripping over it. It gets slippery in the winter. I'm, I don't know. I'm just thinking of things off the top of my head here. But yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Don't, I don't do driveways. It's not my thing. But I, I, those are the sorts of questions that I would ask. So I want to spend quite, I don't want to spend 30 seconds doing that. I want to get as much. The, the more you get it during this session, the yeah. easier it is when you're going for the close. When you're going for the order, the easier it is then to ask, to justify that that closing question i also think a lot of people in home improvements obviously we we speak to loads of them loads of them right and they're uh, you told me over there a lot of them are quote machines 
So they're obsessed with getting to the quote. They like their phone. Their their goal is to get them on the phone and get a quote booked in ASAP. Yeah, a lot of the time. And then you got you can't, you got to remember that there's a good chance there's another business, someone like yourself, who's had a half an hour phone conversation with them, who's got a quote booked in the day before you. And it's like, who are they going to choose? I absolutely love going in behind quote machines. Yeah, it's so it's so easy because they explain quote machines. What it means so for people who a don't quote, understand that. A quote, a quote machine typically. Um, I don't want to offend anyone here, but builders, <laughs> general builders typically will go in with a pen behind their ear. This is a pen behind their ear. Okay. Yeah. The pencil behind their ear. Their, their jeans hanging down past the crack of their butt. Yeah. <laughs> Scratching their head, going, oh, seems like a big job. Oh, oh, not sure when we can get here. Oh, um, I'll tell you what I'll do. Yeah. Yeah. I'll measure up today and I'll drop you a quote in the post or. And it, they're just yeah. I get not, that. I get that. Yeah. It's not professional. It's no. not going in there with with a view to get in that order. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's perfect. So and the other really important thing to do is make sure these are just a couple of bullet points, but to price condition people early. Yeah. I almost, explain what that means for those who don't know. I almost want people to feel like they can't afford what I'm going to offer, but they really want it. Yeah, they want it, but I want them to. Oh, well, that's probably going to be really expensive because otherwise, people people psychologically won't understand that what you're going to offer them down the road has a significant mm. value. Yeah, yeah. People, so you might be quoting for something that's ten grand, for example, and they're thinking it's going to be two grand. Yeah. So you're not going to get that deal. We're the wrong way around, aren't we? Right. Something and a good a good a good point here actually, which is something. Um, one of our so um sometimes clients will say to us i want to put the price starting from on the ad they'll say i want the i want to have prices starting from 495 or whatever or for for five thousand pounds or whatever and i always say to them I, and i look i know i look at the sheet right and i, I we obviously have tracking sheets for all of our clients i look at some of them and, and the ones that haven't put prices on a couple of times people have put like in the notes section they put their budget so for example someone's just said can we please clarify ted so we'll get back to that in a second um, but just what, 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 what on this point, um, I looked, I looked at this bathroom company. It was, um, and I looked at the thing. And a lot of people putting, but budget three k, and then looked at the sold section. It was sold six k, and so I, th- and I said to it, and never someone says to me, I want to put the price in the ad. I say, you don't. People don't know what they want until you tell them. So yeah, if someone right. thinks they've got a budget for three k, you say, well, three k might get you this, but for five k, you know, with a yeah. finance option, we could get you this, and they go, I, oh, okay. I, I price condition really early and often I use bigger companies. So I'll say, do you know what? If you were talking to, for example, a, a bigger company in the industry, a national company, I'm not going to name any on here, but I'll use yeah. those companies. Like Anglian Windows, for example. Yeah, for example. If you yeah. if you were talking to Anglian Windows today, your price would be in excess of, and I'd give them a big figure because that is genuinely true. If they were talking yeah. to Anglian, these high, high companies they charge a premium rate. So if you were talking yeah. to them today, we'd be talking 10,000 quid. Now, suddenly I've dropped a price condition straight into the head of 10 grand. Anchoring, it's called. Yeah. So yeah. anchoring high. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'm old school, so we call it price conditioning. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, what we've done is we've said, okay, this is not going to be a cheap product. But we haven't said that in exactly those words. But we've said, prepare yourself for... So the great news is, if you price condition correctly, you're going to price condition well above the price that you're going to ask them for. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. So, so eventually, when you get to the end of the conversation, so I pre-close all the time. So as I'm going through, I'm pre-closing. I'm saying to them, so uh, where are we? What do, what do you think so far? So yeah. Just, I want to get some feedback so that I know that yeah. the only objection somewhere down the road is likely to be price. Yeah. So I yeah, want to definitely. try and eliminate. There's five reasons people don't buy. And yeah. Everyone with pens, you need to write this down. There's only five reasons in the world people don't buy. No need. No desire. No money. No trust. No hurry. Okay. If you go through your presentation, your, your conversation, I, I don't like to call it a presentation because we just talk. In fact, right now, the way that I'm talking to you is the way I talk to clients. 
I don't yeah. have a script. I don't have a pitch. I don't. I, I listen to people very carefully, and I just t repeat back what they've given me. So I'll say, yeah. What don't you like about the drive? What, what don't you like about your conservatory roof? It's too hot in the summer. Too cold in the winter. Too noisy when it rains. Too much reflection on my screen when I'm trying to watch telly. Blah blah blah. So okay, I understand. Put them at ease. Always settle them right down. Yeah, perfect. Do you know what? I have these conversations every day. Not a problem. And we deal with these with people every day. In fact, then I might social proof that and say, do you know what? We had exactly the same problem with someone uh, last week. Blah blah blah. blah use blah. stories. Use stories. Yeah, yeah I know that's the point. Okay. Yeah. And she's got hers installed now. In fact, she wrote an email to me today and how pleased she was that she can use a conservatory. Yeah, and you can show them pictures. You can, like, yeah, absolutely. Look, so, you know, so there's loads yeah. and loads of ways that we can that we can do that. So yeah. Um, so five reasons people don't buy: no need, no desire, no money, no trust, no so hurry. If we can eliminate those four reasons, which is apart from money, and we leave money, we set money aside basically. So we leave that right till the end. So yeah. if we can establish a need, um, we create a desire. We forget the money for a minute. Obviously, that trust has been built up over our call, the things that we've done. We send them to our checker trade page. We make sure that they're happy with us. They've done their research, they've done their due diligence, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, and if they haven't, make them do it with you. Sit on this. Yeah. They have access to a computer. I'll tell you what, Google my name. Google my company. If there's yeah. anything out there that's – if there's anything out there at all that's adverse, I'll fit your roof for free. That's a yeah. Well, that's what I say. I'm happy to do that because there's nothing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, and obviously no hurry. So we need to create, we need to give them a reason to make a decision. So I'll, there's loads of things that... that like, for example, get, a good one would be like... Move, all of these moving parts have to be have to be working together in order to make sure that we're, we're taking yeah. them down this, the, what I call my sales corridor. Yeah, so like on that element of no hurry... Um, a good example would be something like, oh, well, you know, if you've got anything coming up, like Christmas around the corner, um, it'd be great to be able to turn this into a dining room for Christmas or whatever, wouldn't it? Or have the kids in here at Christmas or, you know, and then suddenly you've got a reason to say, oh, well, you know, if we, if we can get you booked in before Christmas, the spots are, you know, slimming down, but we can get you in. Stuff like that will kind of, is that what you'd consider having yeah, that that's, objection? That's part of it. So we're building that desire and creating the need at the same yeah. time. So, you know the need and desire thing that I talked about. You're doing all of that. You're doing three things in one there. So you're doing need, desire, and hurry all in one, all in one, which is great. Yeah. You're saying. Yeah. In, last year, could you take them back to when they hated it because they may have told you a story like last year we had to abandon the conservatory. You can then say, do you know what? Imagine this. This year, you're there with your family in your conservatory. Use word like enjoying. Yeah. 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 Enjoying yeah. that space, nice and warm and cosy. You're not worried about what's going on outside because it now feels like part of your home. I mean, yeah. That's just, yeah? So yeah. The, only, the only caveat being is that you need to make, a, you, if you want this great price, you need to make a decision within the next 48 hours. I'm not going to ask you to make a decision today because I think that's unfair and you need to talk to your wife. And you might yeah. want to just get on the internet and do some research and just check us out, make sure we're a good fit. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, so I do the same thing as well. So yeah. if we're so a, what we'll you know, do, when we're closing we'll, a deal. We'll pick, the, we'll pick up again in 48 hours. And all I'm going to ask you for is a simple yes or no. Yeah. Is that fair? And they will say that's fair because guess what? They don't mind doing that because you put it down the road. Yeah. If you're asking to do it now, it's not fair, is it? No, yeah, I get that. But you've given them an opportunity to do their research, blah, 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 blah. And, yeah, and I don't mind it. I always say to them, I don't mind it, no. You can say no, yeah. can't you? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Go, just, you know. Someone said, can we clarify TED before we move on to the next section? Yeah, of, this? of course we will. Okay, yeah. we started and I moved on, didn't I? Yeah, yeah go so on. Yeah, I think first, you did T the and then did the ED. Ted, <laughs> the first part of TED is, is tell. So yeah. the, what, the, I use all of these things for opening people up. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's the first thing I'll say. So I'll blame them for the call, and then I'll use Ted. Tell me what's happening. Yeah. Tell me what you don't like about your conservatory. So that, those are the types of questions that I'll ask. Yeah. And then I'll just shut up and let them talk. Okay. How long does that usually last, that phone call, initial phone call, with the way you're doing the teeth? My phone calls are usually, I'm going to say they range from, some of them up to an hour maybe. Yeah. Yeah, some of them are 15 yeah. or 20 minutes. 
It really depends yeah. on on the client, how engaged they get. And the more engaged they get, the stronger you've got, the stronger chance you've got to close in that in the end. Because not only you, you're doing all the other things along, you're building trust. Whilst you're talking to them, you're answering questions, you're building trust, you're sending them off to, you're showing them images of, um, you're taking them off to your website, showing them images of various things. I FaceTime people, I WhatsApp people, so that they actually mm. feel like they know me. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I'm and personal that, WhatsApp. That, yeah, exactly. WhatsApp so, is great because you've got the number there, you've got, a, you've got a, a personal connection to the person on the other end of the phone, as so, opposed to like a business phone number. It's just not as personal, is it? No. So there's the T, there's the TED. There's the tell. beginning of it, T, okay? The yeah. next bit is explain. So tell me what's going on. And then I say, so I, I might say, so tell me, tell me what you hate about your conservatory. They'll tell me. Right, explain yeah. how you use the conservatory. Yeah. So I want to know what you do with it, how you, right? And then yeah. finally, describe to me, so there's your D, describe yeah. to me how you visualise using it in the future. Yeah. So that way you've encapsulated the whole journey. You've gone, this is where we are right now. You really hate it and you've got some real issues and you don't like it and that's why you've contacted us. You've, yeah. You've explained how you're using it at the moment or how that's affecting you right now. Yeah. yeah? And yeah. then the B part of it is the desire part. So where are we going with this? You know, describe yeah. to me, describe to me what your final outcome would be, how you'd like to use it. So how easy is that yeah. to, to just deliver exactly what somebody's asking for? Well, this is what I love about Facebook ads because the difference between like, you know, I see, didn't, I wrote an email about it yesterday. Um, but when it, the reason a lot of people struggle with leads from bark and rated people and whatever is because the first interaction that person's had is that it, it feels like a cold call, doesn't it? Yes. They haven't vis visualized the product. They've gone to Bark, they've searched for it, and then just a random person's called them out of the blue. There's no, there's no personal connection there. And like the great thing about social media is that you can show them what the product will be like when, when it's finished. You can use the visually show them with the ads and the landing pages and stuff like that. And that's why I think it's so powerful. And yeah, I, I agree with you entirely. And the yeah. other thing to avoid is is selling believe it or not yeah yeah um, before they're ready strength, but absolutely avoid product yeah people say to me oh can you tell me the thermal value of your roof once it's installed the answer yeah. is no i haven't got a clue i can tell you what it, <laughs> how you'll feel about it i can tell you yeah. how it will look and how you'll feel and how you'll enjoy using it but i could i haven't measured the thermal value of it i've no idea <laughs> So, I, yeah. I, so I'll turn that into a question. I'll say, my understanding is what you that you're asking me, what it will do for you once, uh, once we've installed it. So yeah. then I'll go on to say something like, right, if you're in your corridor, uh, your hallway at the moment, yeah. and you walk through from your hallway into your lounge, do you feel a difference in temperature? And they'll go, yeah. no. So if we can create another room that at the moment you can't use because it's too cold too hot too noisy blah 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 if we can create that same situation with that area would yeah. you be yeah well that's the answer isn't it it's not the yeah, thermal yeah, yeah. value really it's not the technical yeah. thermal value they're looking for it's how they feel about what you've done yeah so that so i don't talk product at all people say to me Oh, can you explain to me uh, in detail how it's how it's built? I'll give them the briefest explanation. Yeah, but I don't want to talk about product and four by two timbers and and insulation. Right. That's not what this conversation's about. This conversation's about turning that room into a room that you can use all year round, despite yeah. the weather conditions outside. Yeah, does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So we've um we've we've established the the, the, the TED the phone conversation. Um, I'm guessing the next stage is to get a quote booked in, right? I do that there and then over the phone. So do you I get, get a quote booked in over the phone. Them, yeah, I get them totally involved um, with yeah. the, the phone call. So we'll maybe FaceTime. Um, I'll ask them to measure the floor for me. They grab a table, yeah. out and measure the floor, and then I just quote them over the phone. I don't go so out. You don't do it. visits. No. Never. Interesting. Interesting. Did, you know how much money I did last week because we've discussed it. Yeah. And I never, left, I never left where I'm sat now. 
Yeah, it's great. To talk about that then, let's talk about the benefits of um, those going and quoting sites. And it might it might differ from product to product. but I'm sure it will. If someone's got a complicated driveway or something that they're quoting, they'll probably need to pop out and quote it. Or the other way that you could, I would probably try and do is go on Google Earth, blow it up as big as I can. Yeah. And then, because I think Google Earth has a meters, has a meters. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, like a, a measuring bar, a yeah. measuring bar like gotcha. yeah up. so i'd probably drag that across the driveway up and down and i would just have a simple set um price per square meter or whatever it is and i'd have yeah i'd have options um with 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 parfait with edgings around the outside with that without edgings or something but i just simplify my whole business so that i don't have to go out and visit i can say do you know what i can see your driveway right now on google earth you've got a little planter in the corner blah 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 and they go oh that's amazing okay yeah so let's so let's measure it i'll do that online yeah brilliant okay so now we know exactly what we've got and guess what you're absolutely right that driveway is uneven it's terrible isn't it? i'm surprised you haven't slipped up <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, someone yeah. just said i agree carl said uh, I think Carl, one of our clients, so actually, but he just said, I agree, quote remotely. And the great thing about the remote quoting, actually, is um, is Paul's able to, well, we, we help him do it, but he's able to target the age categories that works best for him. For example, the 60 plus you say you prefer, but there's, there's only a limited amount of those people around. So if you're able to target 50 miles, 75 miles, and you're only going out to do the jobs, not just the quotes, then it, it broadens your, but you know, your kind of target audience and it gives you the ability to be, be a little bit more laser focused as to who you want to um, go after, basically, isn't it? And and don't forget, guys, we're also asking for a substantial deposit. So yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't go out to jobs on my risk. I go out having taken a substantial deposit, which is always fifty percent of the value of the job. And some of my jobs are like 15, 20,000 quid. Bear in mind, these people have never met me. I've never been in their home. I've never been beyond my seat, apart from FaceTime calls and WhatsApps and things like that. And but you don't what, do like, you don't do finance, do you? It's all cash. Don't, I don't do any, at the moment, I don't. I'm yeah. saying I, I won't ever. But at the moment, um, yeah, they, they, they pay as they go. Um, yeah. But the way that I build their confidence is I've got a really good checker trade page, which I don't use to try and find clients i use yeah. it i use it as a closing tool so every uh, yeah i agree client, every single client that i speak to i don't send to my website i send them straight to checker trade because that gives you credibility straight away yeah. i pay for that obviously that service but i don't care that yeah. is that has earned me so much money it's massive so i use yeah. that as a closing tool so actually, I use it right at the beginning. I say, oh, where did you find us on our checker trade page? They haven't. Of course they haven't. They found us on Facebook. Right? Yeah. But yeah. I'll, I'll say, have you? did you see us on checker trade? So they straight away, so basically I'm telling them I'm on checker trade straight yeah. away. Yeah. So they feel like more that. confident in talking to you just because you've dropped that in. Okay. And then I'll take them to the page. I'll go at the same time. I'll say, right, I'm on my computer. You're on yours. Have you got access to the internet? Great. Um, and I'll take them that I'll say, have you got an iPad or an iPhone or any, anything that you can have a look at this page? And I'll take them straight to the reviews. What do you think of those? And I've got, yeah. I don't know, about, I've got about 40, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. I don't get any. Yeah, 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 yeah. 10, 10. That's the way we work. Reviews are worth gold. They're worth a lot of money. Like, like uh, we don't, we um, will sometimes not not in a we'll do it in a way that's not pushy. But we'll sometimes say, hey, you know, we'll send you a bottle of champagne if you do us a, a, a trust pilot review, and it might cost us 30, 40 quid to get that review. Um, and they would just say, just be honest. We won't say be nice. We'll say if you give us an honest review on trust pilot, we'll send you a bottle of champagne or something. Um, and it's worth it because that is just gold dust. Like just trusted review sites for online businesses, probably trust pilot. Well, a physical business is probably check a trade, but it's worth its weight in gold having those reviews. Right. Does everyone know what a drop close is? I don't know what a drop close is, so let's go into that. Okay, a drop close is when you make your first offer, it's never your best one, is it? Um, no, no, no. Okay, or it shouldn't be. Publicly saying this on the group. No, but it shouldn't <laughs> be your best one. No, <laughs> no I'm joking, of course every not. Business, every business is the same. You need somewhere to go. Because everybody yeah. needs to feel like they've had a deal. So, well, the thing with an online company like us, we can have options. 
Whereas a physical business, you're building one thing. You can't really. Yeah, you can't really. Need, they need to yeah. feel like they've had a deal. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So first of all, we've we've gone back to this price conditioning. We've price conditioned them through the roof. Yeah. Yeah. So we've said if you were talking to one of the major players, Anglian, uh, whatever, you'd be. This is the sort of money that we'd be discussing today. So yeah. I might be someone like uh, it's one of the big conservatory player, Cozy Roof, or whatever. Okay. Yeah. So now great news is you're not going to be paying that sort of money okay so i've already settling them straight back down okay yeah i'll then yeah. come in somewhere higher than i to give myself some wriggle room and this is called the drop yeah. close so you need to be able to drop close from wherever you are you there's two ways of get, adding value isn't there yeah one or there's two ways of 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 giving people a better deal one yeah go on which which 99.999 percent of people do they drop the price yeah the clever people add value right okay go on yeah. explain, explain that in more detail well you can drop the price that's like um final option so they're saying do you know what i had a budget of seven grand and you're at eight grand they, they didn't really have a budget of seven they had no idea did they you know that and we know that they yeah had no idea. but guess what now that you've told them eight grand, they want to pay seven. Of course they do. We make so we've made a provision in our we've made a provision in our budget that they sh we should be able to get somewhere close to, to to a drop close. Yeah. Yeah. So ultimately, yeah. if they say, "Do you know what, Paul Max? I'll go is seven grand." That's not a problem. Why don't you meet me in the middle at seven five? You usually get that. I will usually say, "Do you know what? I can't get down to seven, but seven five. Can we shake hands at seven five? Something like that." Those yeah. Are questions that i'll ask the, well, you the, other way is to, the other way is to say do you know what i really can't get down to that and i'd love to but our margins are so tight at the moment because of covid or whatever justify why your margins are tight you know my yeah. guys have been furloughed and i've had to spend money for people being off work that aren't working or whatever you need to justify the reason you can't get down to that price so they yeah. genuinely feel that you you're at your you're at your basement price yeah. But I'll tell you what I can do for you. I can do some additional, I can do this, that, and the other, and I won't charge you for it. How does that sound? Yeah. So you're actually still yeah. getting your value in terms of you're not you're not focusing on price. People for whatever reason, um, and I don't want to offend anyone, but everyone dives straight at price. They think if I drop the price, they'll buy. Yeah. And it's not a fact. If you add value they'll buy they just got to feel like they're getting a deal they've got to feel like they're getting a deal so there's two ways of doing that drop the price or add some value i prefer to add some value if so give me an example work, of yeah if that, if that doesn't work then i've still got some in i've left some in the tank that i can say to them i'll tell you what let me let me crunch my numbers and i'll see if i can sharpen my pencil a bit give me two minutes and i go yeah. quiet i absolutely go quiet for two minutes yeah and I'm probably not doing anything at all. I'm just sat there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But then okay. when, you deliver, when you deliver that price, you've really got to make sure that they understand that you've done them a very special deal. Don't tell anyone about it. It's only for you. So if you, re if you refer us to anyone down the road, do not tell anyone what you've paid. Okay. So now you, you've consolidated that price by saying this is special for you. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. So so let's let's talk about the um the close. Um you know, so so uh, you know, we've got to the point where the users, you know, the I said the user, the um the, the customer, potential customer has said they're interested, you can put up their um desire, they're brought into the product. Um you, you ticked off those four things that we mentioned before. Just go over those again so that they their desires there, their no OGC need. is there, they've got the need for it. Everyone... And then what was the last one? Yeah, so no need, no desire, no money, no trust, no hurry. Yeah. All right. So the last one with the money. So you you pitch them the, the, the you've got a verbal agreement. Let's say, um, what's your next step? So the next the next step is obviously once you've quoted them, it's all on the table. They know exactly what what's available to them. I'll simply say something like, right. In order for you to do that, now we use scarcity. Yeah. yeah. So in other words, we can only do this for a certain period of time, and this is the reason why. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I can't leave this open end, this very low price for you forever because um, other people, 
for example, I don't have time in my diary. Mm-hmm. So um, I'm, I'm saying at the moment, for example, and I, I'll show people my diary if we're FaceTime. And I'll say, look, there's my diary. It's here with me now. And I'll show people the diary. We're booked up solid till then. And there's two weeks that we've actually got two jobs left that we can do this very low price for. Yeah, and, and a lot of times I'll say something like, um, you know, please don't don't share this with anyone else, like this price or something like that, just to make them feel like they've got a good deal and that you've really Absolutely. had done something uniquely for them, which is uh, really important that they, they realise that. Um, so, perfect. So, so what about, so you, you quoted them the price, you ask, quoted them, And just go on. make sure you ask for the order. If you don't ask for the order, you do not deserve it. Explain that, explain that in a bit more detail so people know what you mean. Ask for the order. Don't be shy. Just say to them, so can we put that in place for you? So what date yes. would you give them? An, you, there's loads of different ways of asking for an order. You can give them an either or. So you can say, I told you the two weeks that are available, which one would work best for you? Yeah. Can we get that pencil in now? Something like that. Oh, yep. Yeah. And shut up. Yeah. Have you heard of the power of silence? Yeah. Don't keep talking. I've, yeah. I've, 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 I, it, it can get too, asked, too much sometimes but yeah i, I get what you're once saying you yeah ask the closing question so yeah. for example if i say to a client right we've talked about the two weeks that you've got uh, that we've got available for you at that price yeah which one would suit you best yeah you have to shut up yeah if i he who speaks first loses yeah <laughs> and it can get awkward it's that critical that you need to know when to stop talking yeah, that makes sense. So, so, and they say, let's say they say, uh, we'll go with uh, X date or whatever. Uh, you've got verbal agreement. Um, pe- it's payment time. How do you lead into taking payments? What do you do? I'll say, I'll tell you what. Be, so, I'll consolidate what we've just done because don't forget, in inverted commas, by doing what I've just done, we've applied a certain amount of limitation on their ability to move. We've asked, in other words, we've applied some sort of psychological pressure, although we're not pressure selling. We've yeah. said there's a limitation, and, and this happens every day. SCS adverts on TV, I think the only thing that's ever stopped an SCS advert is COVID. They've always yeah. got a sale on. They've got a sale on all, <laughs> all year round. Yeah. SCS sale, they're amazing. The only thing that's ever <laughs> killed that is COVID, I think. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, so they're saying to you, you've got to get this deal done by the end of the week, otherwise you're going to lose these settees at this price, yeah? Yeah. So they're doing the same thing. They're using scarcity. This deal will disappear. Take up the offer right now. Otherwise, it's going to disappear and you're not going to get this great price. And we're doing the same yeah. thing. We're saying to them, here you go. Here's a great price for you. But there's a caveat. You need to be doing this within this period of time in order to get that price. Yeah. Yeah. That makes so sense. Yeah. The next stage is, I'll tell you what. So are you happy with what we are you happy with what we've agreed? So I'll consolidate. Okay. I don't just I don't accept their yes as being a yes. Yeah. Because I've seen I've, I'm too experienced to know that when that phone goes down, the wife's going to go, "Blimey, that was a bit quick. We didn't get a chance to talk to each other about it and blah 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 blah." And then yeah. there, all sorts of reasons will come out of the woods as to why they don't why they're a bit scared to do it right now. And all of a sudden you'll get an email which you can't really respond to verbally. I mean, yeah. I'll, if I get if if someone drops out on me, I'll, I will pick the phone back up and speak to them again and say, "Do you know? What? I thought we left this in a good place and blah blah and all the rest of it and try and try and get that deal back into bed." It doesn't. I've got to be truthful. I don't drop. I don't drop the ball. People do yeah. not cancel on me. Um, yeah, I'd say out of a hundred, maybe one one percent. When you say no. cancel, do you mean that? What if you if you arrange a time they won't they won't if pick up the phone? Arranged, you... If we if we've arranged it, it's happening. Okay, perfect. It's very very. And that's because. That, you can get in, you can get an idea if someone's like you need to get clarification that they are one hundred percent okay a okay with everything you've explained. Yeah. The worst thing a lot of salespeople, um, let's say they are um, I don't know, in, slightly inexperienced salespeople or maybe they're just not salespeople at all, they're builders or what or not. Um, they'll rush that process. So they'll they, say, Perfect, so um I'll, I'll send you an invoice, I'll get you get you get that paid and then we'll get the work yeah. going and they'll rush it. I call that failure to consolidate. Okay. And so the old way, in the in the old days, I'm going back 30-odd years, when I first was in sales, a lot of people remember the old Esther Ransom days and things like that. I would simply, in them days, I'll have written the order, and I would just simply go, you know what, we don't have to do this. If you want, I can tear it up and 
They go, no, no, yeah. no, don't tear it up. And that's consolidated. <laughs> that's another, you know, yeah. those were the old days. Or yeah. um, can we just clarify, are you absolutely 100% happy before I leave? Just to ask yeah. a question. Before because I what you don't want to... Or so you might say, phone down, can we just can we just hundred percent clarify? And let me give you a reason why I need to ask you this. I'm talking to twenty five people at the moment, and they're all looking for the same deal as you've just got. But I can only do two. So now that you've got one, I've only got one left, and I don't yeah. want to not offer it to someone else if you genuinely don't want it. So that's quite a good way of consolidating. I like that because. Um... Another, another, another example on that, another caveat to that is, um, is uh, at the end of that phone conversation, same with us when we're talking with, you know, um, clients or prospects or whatever. Um, if they get off that phone and if you're on that call and you're not 100 percent sure that person is closed and you and end that know, phone call. You? And you know, you'll know, you'll know. Feeling. You get but yeah, yeah. S- s- send that over. Send over that invoice. I'll get that paid tomorrow or I'll get that paid this week. And you go uh, just just what I'll always do. And then. Michael does this too, and he's getting really, really good at it. Is you say say to them, "Hey, look, um, you know, there's two two parts to this. You, you pay the invoice, and you, you you fill out your onboarding, whatever your process is. And you say, you know, when do you think you can get that done? And they'll say, oh, if they say anything other than I'll do it right now, then it's, it's no deal. And you say to them, perfect. Um, you know, can I get can I can you just give me any questions you've got? Have you got any anything else in your mind? Is there any reason why this won't go ahead or you won't get that paid? There's nothing wrong with asking that question." It might be different there's, there's, you, a slightly, like there's, there's a slightly more targeted way of doing the same thing. Go on. You go, yeah, I understand. Right. So now you you know because you've you, the red flags come up, hasn't it? You yeah. know, hundred percent. They're not when they put that phone down. They're not going to be uh, placing that order. Or there's things in their head that's that's yeah. there. So you, now you, know. you need to. You've left what that you know the sales corridor that I talked to you about earlier on. You've left yeah. the door open. They've got an escape route. So what we do is we walk down the sales corridor. No need, no desire, no money, no hurry, no trust. We're closing doors so that when we take them down our corridor, we're taking them to one place, and that's our desire. Yeah. Our end desire is that they place their order. Yeah? Yeah. So if, yeah. We've, let them, if we've left the door open, that's our fault, not theirs. Yeah? Yeah. You have, yeah. You have, to, you have to take ownership of that. You've left the door open. So now you've got to the end of your chat. And they've said, I'll tell you what, I'll read all the small print and I'll get back to you at some stage. And, yeah, I think we're all right. But, um, yeah, you know, that's a red flag, isn't it? They're yeah. Not- the worst thing is when you think you close a deal and then they say, um, yeah, yeah, s- s- send all that over. I'll take a look. Yeah. And you're like, hmm, OK. That's not you know, but like, you, but so I always then, just say, what we do then, well, it sounds to me like you've got some questions. Let's go through those now. Otherwise, you're going to go away and no one's going to be there to answer them. So be more specific. OK, go on, explain. Be more specific. So, let's let's. So, what I'll say is, I'll tell you what. For a moment, let's just set the price aside. Yeah. So now we've taken one of those five reasons people don't buy out of the equation. Yeah. So now yeah. I need to know: Do they need it? Do they desire it? What's the difference between need and desire? Oh, that's a tricky one. Uh, I guess the answer would be. You, you can't have one without the other, I suppose. You have to have both. So, for example, if somebody... Okay, let I me guess... ask you that in a different way. Yeah. What do you buy every day, or most days, that you don't actually want, but you buy it? Petrol. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's loads of products yeah. that we need that we actually yeah. don't want. Um, okay. How many drill bits were sold last year? Millions. I'd imagine millions, Does anyone yeah. want a drill bit? No, they want a hole. Yeah, 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 yeah. They've yeah, got yeah, yeah. to get the drill bit to get the hole. Yeah, so yeah. does that okay. make sense? That's a new... so the desire would be the I want to have somewhere yeah. I can watch Champions League final with my mates. They want an iPhone five or the latest iPhone. They want the yeah. fifty-five inch TV. They want all the fancy gadgets and goodness knows what and a beautiful home and all the top of the range uh, cars and stuff. That's their desire products. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. That's the difference. We buy stuff that we need and don't desire, but and yeah. we also buy stuff that we desire and don't need. Yeah. Yeah. So we now yeah. need to, but we need to make sure that we've got these clients on board, both with need and desire. So first of all, we've got to establish, and the reason I ask them a lot of the questions in the first place is so that we can 
we know now that they need it, don't we? Because I've said to them, what's your problem with your conservatory? They hate it, spider infestation. They're, they hate the, yeah. the fact that it's too hot in the summer, too cold in winter, too noisy when it rains. They can't watch TV. The old man likes to watch the football in there and he can't, he's got, um, you know, he can't yeah. use it. He hates it, yeah? So yeah. there's definitely a need. So then this is tying our TED back in. Tell, explain, yeah. describe. So when we get to the last bit, describe it. Tell me what you think how you think you'd like to use the room. Tell me how you'd like to see your driveway. Tell me, you know, yeah. or whatever it is that you're selling. Yeah? Yeah. Now we've got the desire bit tied up, haven't we? Yeah. Because we've asked them to tell us what their end, how they see it. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So now we've got our need and desire. We can put that aside, can't we? So we can go back over. So going back to what you said just now, when they say, I just want to read the document before I sign it. Yeah? Or yeah. I want to read you know that you haven't closed that deal. So you can yeah. go back over it and you go, okay, just to clarify, just so I can clarify in my head, do a Columbo. You remember Columbo? No, no. You too young. <laughs> Not your... <laughs> we call this the Columbo close. <laughs> yeah, so you, go, you see, you touch your head and you just go, oh, just so that I can clarify in my own mind where we're at. Um, yeah. And then you go back over what you've already discussed. You said, do you remember you told me earlier that you had the blah, 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 blah. Does my does what I've offered you deal with yeah. that issue? Do you genuinely believe that that will deal with that issue? Oh, yeah, absolutely. So do you like what I've offered you? Yeah? Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And you and all the rest of it. So and you've set the money aside. So now you go, do you know what? We've been on the phone for an hour or an hour and a half or 20 minutes or whatever, however long. And I really feel like we've got on. I mean, how, how are you feeling about me? Do you, are you happy with what I've done for you today? Yeah, yeah. perfect. Well, you've been really good. You've been succinct and you've explained it really well, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And what about the company? You've had a little look at the, the company. You're happy with Is that type of company you do business with? Yeah. So yeah. now we've got the trust element dealt with, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. So now we've dealt with no need, no desire, no trust. So there's only two left. One of them we yeah. put aside. Okay, so do you have a problem with getting this done within the next few weeks? Yeah. No, not at all. So is there anything that's preventing you from doing that? No. So well, now we've got the money, haven't we? We've got the yeah. one that we put aside. We, know, we already knew that right from the start, but we need to establish that that is a fact and that we're not actually guessing that that is a fact. Yeah. And So these are called objections, right? So then you've got underlying objections. So... When you go back and you're more specific as to go, so so do you remember we talked about this, this and this, and you told so I'm going to put myself in your shoes, right? Yeah. So, Paul, you told me earlier on that you wanted more leads and you wanted to spend less money on them. Yeah. Do you believe that using our system, we'd actually do that for you? Uh, particularly as I've guaranteed you that, you know, if it doesn't work for you, you're going to get your money back. Yeah. Well, yeah. Of course, it's a no brainer. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Perhaps I would come and sell for you. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah maybe we'll get you so, on it yeah yeah you see what i'm saying so all we're left with is the money yeah so so you don't want to think about so that just clarifies that you're, you don't they don't want to think about anything else other than the money okay yeah yeah so now all you've got to deal with is the money again so you've got to say okay. and and how do you feel about the offer that i made yeah yeah it's a really good offer and then just say it's a really good offer. And I, do you do you understand that you've got to take that within the next couple of weeks? Otherwise, yeah, yeah, it's a really good offer. And the, providing you've presented that offer in the proper way, they they will feel like that's a great offer. Okay. Mm. So what's preventing you moving forward? Nothing. Okay. Yeah. Tell you what we'll do then. I'll put the phone down. I'll send this. Um, I'll wing the document over to you, and ten minutes later, I'll give you a call and we'll go through it. Yeah. You've got them then, haven't you? Because you've got them back on the phone. Yeah. So after that initial pitch and they've given you a verbal agreement, do you always call them back the same day or do you wait 24 hours that you stay? Um, no. I do it slightly differently because I will find out. So I'll say I'll, I'll, I'll check whether they're still engaged by doing something slightly different. So I'll say yes. to them, okay, I'm really happy so far. The only thing I haven't seen is the shape of your conservatory roof. Or yeah. I'll, I'll pick on something that's not part of the job. So the only thing I haven't seen is how we're going to access your back garden. So would you do yeah. me a favour? Would you stand down the bottom of your garden, take yeah. a photo and just wing it across to me? Yeah. Yeah? If they do that, then you've got them. Yeah, yeah. 
you've given them the price, you've given them absolutely everything, you've talked to them, blah, blah, blah. If they send you back that image, then you're consolidated. You know you've, you've done your job. Okay. You, you, does that make sense? Otherwise, they wouldn't. Yeah, that makes sense. They wouldn't. No, they wouldn't. They're, they're they'll, making an excuse. They'll, just, they'll go to ground on you and never pick the phone up again. Yeah. So is the next stage just, as you say, 50% deposit up front, 50% yeah, after so the job, what, I'm assuming? What I'll do, I, I always explain it. So I, I always, you have to make sure you hold your client's hands. It's really important, it's particularly yeah. once, they, once they're starting to invest into you, you must hold their hand and you must see it through to the letter. Yeah. That's really important. If you promise something, you do it to the letter and you'd over and if you can over deliver you do so i always say yeah. to my client i'll tell you what i'm going to do within the next half an hour you're going to get an email if i say to them within the next two minutes you're going to get an email what does that sell them uh you've got time on your hands no you've got a pre-populated email that you just chuck oh. out yeah 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 you want you, I agree. you suddenly all the hard work that you've done you've undone yeah. in, by saying something really stupid that you haven't thought about so you say, okay, yeah. within the next half an hour, I'm going to wing you over an email. So it's going to take me a little bit of a while to put it together. So do, do bear with me. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, like that. That's good. And then you go and have a cup of tea. Yeah. <laughs> and then half an hour later, you wing them over a pre-populated email and job's done. Okay? Yeah. Okay? Um, so within that email, there will be specific instructions for you. Okay? So our bank account details will be in there. This is where yeah. we introduce the deposit. Yeah. Our bank account details are in there because this is the other this is the other tripwire potential tripwire as people don't like paying deposits right okay yeah so um our bank account details are in there um, along with all the information that we've discussed i'm going to have that all in there for you in detail the bank account details and the instructions on how to put it in the bank are in there okay yeah. first thing i'd like you to do is when you receive the email the minute you see it just send me a one word reply yeah just to let me know you've got it yeah received that way yeah i know you've got it you know you've got it and it hasn't dropped into the black abyss that's I'm a good idea saying, yeah I'm, I'm not saying it for that reason i need to keep them engaged mm -hmm. yeah because at the moment yeah. we don't have their deposit and they can drop out of bed yeah so yeah. i say do me a favor would you would you just do would you just send me a one word response reply just to say receive thanks paul or something like that they yeah. all do it. they all do it they will do it. Yeah, it's a good idea. I no, I've not thought about that before. I quite, I quite like that. Okay. So they win yeah. back that. That's done. So, And if you don't see it within the next half an hour, check your junk mail because it will be in there. Yeah. All right? And if it's not, call me back and let me know and I'll send you it again. So you're keeping them yeah. engaged. So then you get this yeah. one, one word reply that comes back. Thanks, Paul. Uh, I've got your quote or whatever. Some people send you a love letter. It is what it is. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah. that's fine. I'm happy with that. So they've done what I've asked them to do. The second thing, so I leave them with a list of things to do. Second thing is you're going to need to pop a deposit into my account. Okay. Now, bear yeah. in mind, you're going to need this today so that I can get you tied up on that date. Yeah. So whilst their aspiration levels at the absolute highest, I want to be taking the deposit. Yes. Yeah. Tomorrow, they've slept on it. They've, they've gone outside their house and they've talked to someone that is not involved in this deal. Yeah. And they and they've got, they've got, they've got ooh, ooh, they, expensive. Ooh. Yeah, exactly. Someone else who, who you haven't invested time and effort into yeah. will blow your deal away. Yeah. By saying something stupid like, do you know what? I've got a mate, I reckon he could do it cheaper than that. Or, I know a chip he could do it. Well, something stupid that's yeah, going to yeah, yeah, your yeah. deal. So you need them whilst their aspiration levels at the highest. If you're happy to be on speakerphone, whilst you're talking to your clients, make sure you get agreement off of both of them. What, well, as in the, so the husband and say, wife, for example? So yeah, I'll say to them, oh, I can hear you. I can hear your wife in, in the background. What's her name? Sorry, I, I, I forgot to ask you for her name. They'll go, oh, she'll go, oh, it's Julie. Hi, Julie, how are you? Yeah, we're great. You okay with this, Julie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've got agreement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? It's really important yeah. that you get agreement like with both. Because otherwise, husband can be going, yes, Phone goes down, wife goes, you never even asked me, blah, blah, blah. If you mm. do that whilst on the phone, he can then say, hold on, he asked you if you're all right, and you said yes. Yeah. Got it. No one's going to sell your product as good as you can sell it. So if you, you're basically not, if you're not getting the second decision maker on the call as well, or at least 
doing the best you can to do so. You're yeah. you're leaving this. You're selling to the person you spoke to, and there's there's like like me and Rob. If Rob Rob might speak to a software company or whatever and say the software's amazing, and I'll be like, how much? No, or I'll yeah. do the same thing, and he'll go, because how much? You, know what, you do exactly what every other human being on the planet does, straight yeah. to advice. Yeah. My wife does. My wife does it. Oh, you're doing yeah. that? How much is it? Straight to the price. Not, <laughs> yeah. not what's yeah. it going to do for us or how's it going to help us or blah, blah, blah. Straight to the yeah. price. Yeah. Yeah. Completely. So, 100%. I'm sure we all do it. I'm blaming my wife. Yeah. So, but yeah, we all, I'm sure we all so, do it. So final closing um, points. So we've got the last last thing is you you basically get, you give them that 24 hours to, to make that payment, I'm assuming. Um, I generally like to see it in the account same day. So what happens if you get to the end of that? Let's say you have given them 24 hours, they haven't paid. What, what's well, your last well, I, call, call there? Do you know what? I've got to be truthful. They will pay because I've done my job. Yeah. That <laughs> but you wouldn't have got to that point if they weren't going to. You'd yeah, have if I covered that objection. If I, if I didn't go through all the pro, there's a lot more. I've briefly touched on the pro, because these are a lot, most a lot of this is subliminal and, and psychological processes that we're going yeah. through. So I'm doing lots of other little things. I'm social proofing as I go along. I'm taking them off and doing things with them. I'm taking them to check a trade page. I'm showing them all the images and saying, Do you imagine, can you imagine how that would look on yours? Yeah, yeah. So they can feel it and touch it and taste it. Yeah? yeah. So I'm doing all sorts of other things to consolidate that deal and to gain that trust, create that desire, you know, um, obtain the need, all the other things. So all I've got left at the end is the, is the hurry and the money to deal with. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense completely. Yeah, yeah. I get that. So, once I've so you, you wouldn't price, get to that point. Do this, right. I, I, here's your two prices. Here's your yeah. two prices. This one's your think about it price. You can sit on this for six months, quite happy. Come back to me in six months. We'll honor that. For okay. You. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the first price that you gave them. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. would you like to save some money? No. I wouldn't like to say some money. Who's going to say no? Would you like? Yeah, to yeah, yeah. Yeah. Would you like a better quote? Would you like a better price? Simple question. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can offer you a better price, but there is a caveat, and that means that we've got to act quickly. Is that yeah. something you're able to do? Yeah. Well, they already know the first price, so they already know it's eight grand. So they're probably yeah. thinking it might come down to seven or six or whatever. Yeah. In yeah. their head. Yeah. Is that something you're able to do? Well, yeah, if the price is right, I'll definitely, um, I'll definitely think of fitting it straight away. Well, now yeah. you know you've got now you know subject to you off delivering what you've offered, then yeah. you should get the deal. And if you don't, you've dropped the ball somewhere. Yeah, you wouldn't get to that stage in the in the sales because process if, if they, they said, And I'll ask that question, and very occasionally you'll get a, um, a, I'll say, would you like to save some money? Yes, brilliant. Okay, um, now. I can give you two prices. This is this is your think about it price, and this is your price that I I need. There are some terms and conditions. It's a bit of a back scratch and exercise. I'm going to give you a better price, and you're going to help me out in some way. Okay. Yeah. Is that fair? So, and that's how I deliver that type of question. Great. So I'll give you a better price. You need to book into the diary for the within the next two weeks. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. If they say to me, I can't get it done within the next two weeks for, and they've got a legitimate reason. I've just booked a holiday and I'm away next week. I'll tell yeah. you what, listen, we've spent a long time on the phone. I'd still like to offer you that better price, but I'll extend it for you. How does that sound? Yeah. 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 So you can, you can backpedal. Yeah. To, as long as you justify, if you just went, if you said to them, I'll offer you this better price, but it's for two weeks. And they said, well, I'm actually, I'm flying away next week. And then you went, I'll tell you what, um, I'll I'll give you a better price anyway. You've suddenly your credibility's gone from there yeah 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 yeah. There. So you say to them, look, you know what? We've made friends this afternoon. I feel like I feel like I've got to know you, you know. Yeah. And and I make no bones about it. I'm marketing hard into your area, into Southampton. Would you be happy to do me a further favour? Would you be happy to give me a check and trade review? Yeah. Yeah, Tell that's a good one. Do you know what I mean? Or anything. Yeah. Yeah. Get a further favour so you're still trading. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or would you be happy at some future date if one of my clients wanted to come and have a look? Yeah. Yeah. Would you be happy if one of my clients just gave you a quick call? Someone that's local to you gave you a quick call and said, are you still happy with it? 
because I can put you yeah. on another. Do you know what I mean? Justify. That's clever, yeah, that's clever, yeah. You've got to justify why you can reduce that price and or maintain that deal that you've won a minute ago. You told them that is it, it's rock solid, two weeks, n- n- no questions asked. Now you're back, yeah. Lynn, but you've got to justify why you can. And if this you has all been really good, yeah. If you don't justify it, your credibility dies with you. You die. You die. Yeah. I agree. And it's been, it's been really clever going through the whole process, actually, because um, I wanted to do that because it makes a lot more sense to people. So um, this will be as a, this, this, this will be in the group. So anyone who wants to watch this replay should be able to watch it back. Um, what I'll, if hour, they, you know? Yeah, I know. It's gone on, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. It's but hour, people have stuck hour. around for the whole time, which is great. Um, if anyone wants to find you, Paul, where can they find you and ask you questions? Right. I do have um, – they can certainly use my personal email. Okay, yeah. it's um, Broomy, B-R-O-O-M-E-Y, Broomy, P-A, at gmail.com. Anyway, please, actually, everyone that's watching this or everyone that, that likes what I've done, give me some feedback. Tell, tell me whether, I'm, tell me whether I, I engage you or whether you get excited about what I do or whether you want to learn some more from me or whether we'd spend a bit of time chatting or whatever. Um, yeah. Engage with me. Do, do that for me. Um, yeah. I will also give everyone my uh, mobile number. I don't care. 07860 double four three zero nine. Okay, you yeah. can text me or WhatsApp me, do what do whatever you, you do. Yeah. Um and just just give me a little bit of feedback, Rin. Was that interesting? Yeah. Was it a load of rubbish? Was it boring? Did I entertain you? Um yeah. did you get excited? Did you suddenly think, God, I wish I knew half of what he knows and I'd close a lot of deals? Now, okay, let's reveal what I did in the first week that you gave me deals. Yeah, it's gone. Okay. You, 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 was it 27 grand, was it? It was 27 grand in, in the first two days. Oh, yeah, that was it. it was yeah, 20, it wasn't bad, was I it? I did 27 <laughs> grand in the first two days. What was that down yeah. to? I'll tell you what it was down to. It was yeah. down to all the things that we talked about here this afternoon, but making sure that we laid the foundation correctly in the first place, and you're the foundation. Yeah. Okay? So I said I asked you for specific things. I said I want to target over 60s. Why do I want to target yeah. over six weeks? Cash in the bank, time in the hands. I want, right, okay. Think about over 60s. We're yeah. selling them home improvement products. That's the market you're in. Where do they yeah. spend most of their life? In the conservatory, probably. In the at home. home. At home, one mm. way or another. So if you're selling driveways, they're looking at that driveway and enjoying it more. If you're selling them yeah, conservatories, yeah, yeah. They're, 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 they're able to use it. If you're selling them kitchens, they're going to be enjoying that kitchen more. Baking, so cooking yeah, roast. So you're actually, <laughs> you're actually targeting a market that are going to get the most use out of what you're selling. Yeah. That makes that sense. Makes sense. Secondly, yeah. secondly, those people are available. I don't want to be yeah. sat in my office. I'm 58 years old now. I've done this for a long, long time. I don't want to be sat in my office at 8 o'clock at night, ringing dead. Yeah. You know, ringing people that have been working all day and they're too tired to talk at night. And I don't yeah. want to be sat in my office all day, ringing dead phones and leaving voicemails. Yeah, it's not, to, it's not what I, yeah. yeah. I want to be getting my, the biggest bang for the buck. Okay. So for me, let's talk to people that are over 60s. They've got, you're, you're absolutely right. They, they've usually got some uh, money in the bank. Okay. If they've made the inquiry, they'll absolutely understand that there's money to be spent and they have to spend money yeah. in order to achieve what they're, they're looking for. Okay. Yeah. And they're, they're usually very open to having quite a long conversation because they've, they're generally just there on their own. So they're quite yeah. happy just to, just, and they're quite engaging, you know? Yeah. So, I completely so agree. They, so they, understand your client avatar. Yeah, so it makes absolute sense to me that we talk to people that 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 we're going to get the biggest. It's all about marginal gains. Yeah, yeah. So everything we do is stacking up a marginal gain. So just making sure that you ask the right questions. It's marginal. It's all just heading. I'm not saying you're not going to do any deals if you don't do this stuff because you will. No, do you some, will. But you'll do. Some it's business. between some, 10 percent and twenty five percent, isn't it? Yeah, some people will wave the white flag. They'll just say you've you've got what I want. I'll have it. You know they'll surrender. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But very few of those about. So you're going to have to work for your business, but work smart. Yeah, I agree completely, hundred percent. And it's just about understanding the customer, isn't it, and figuring out what they want. Yeah. Um, yeah. But anyway, we'll um, we'll, we'll we'll end it there. I am, hour, um, I, just, just 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 
just a final conclusion. Last year, yes. I did set up a business called thesalescoach.co.uk, which I haven't actually progressed because I haven't had time, but I do yeah. intend doing that. So if anyone, yeah. if there's anyone out there that's watching or watches a bit later that wants some more, a little bit of tuition, a bit of training, some uh, WhatsApp time or whatever, I can certainly do that with you. Um, but there will be, I'm going to start to charge for um, my time, but it won't be a ridiculous amount of money. And you'll certainly get more value back from me than you spend with me. And Paul's in the group, so if you guys want to comment, tag him underneath and he'll reply. Um, I'm sure he can pick you up there and you can have a conversation on Facebook and whatnot. So, um, yeah, and, and we'll make sure to leave your website in the comments underneath so people can, can visit yes. it and, and see what's going on. Cool. All right, I'll, um, I'll end the broadcast there. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and those who are watching the replay, um, thanks again. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for inviting me. Cheers.